But the only thing that I really disagree with is when we treat people as if you're not allowed to be human. I'm a f***ing human. I make mistakes. Tory Lanez started gaining fame for his music and his beef with Drake in 2016. Over the years, he's provoked a few other rappers too, but it was never too serious. That was until one day Megan the Stallion got shot and Tory was arrested as a prime suspect. His fans couldn't believe it and thought it was a mistake. But now, the court has given their verdict and things are looking too bleak for Tory. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like and comment on this video if you're with Team Megan or Team Tory. Also, if you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment the hidden message. Good luck! Early Life Tory Lanez was born as Daystar Shamuel Shua Peterson on the 27th of July, 1992 in Ontario, Canada. His childhood was marked by adversity as his mother passed away when he was just 11 years old. Despite periods of homelessness, Lanes taught himself various musical skills, using rapping and singing to express himself. Daystar adopted the moniker Tory Lanes and began performing locally in Toronto, eventually moving to Miami and New York City to immerse himself in their music scenes. Early mixtapes like 2L2TO and Sincerely Tory garnered attention, leading to his 2016 debut album, I Told You. Tory's feud with Drake At the beginning of his career, Tory had a feud with Drake. It started in 2016 when Tory Lanez released a remix of the song Controla by Drake. This move was seen by many as a challenge to Drake's dominance in the Canadian music scene and hip-hop at large. In response, Drake dropped a freestyle during a radio show in which he seemed to address Lane's challenge. Tensions escalated further in 2016 when Tory Lanez released the single Liddy, which featured Meek Mill. The song was interpreted by many as a direct response to Drake's track Summer 16, where Drake took shots at various rivals. The feud gained momentum as both artists continued to release diss tracks and make references to each other in their music. One of the most significant moments in the feud was the release of Tory Lane's song Lucky You, in which he directly called out Drake by name and criticized his behavior. However, the feud seemed to lose steam in the following years, and both artists gradually shifted their focus to other projects and collaborations. In recent years, both Tory Lane's and Drake appear to have moved past their feud. Drake even posted a picture of them together on Instagram, with the caption that the world needs more of this and less of that. Recap of the case On the evening of July 12, 2020, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion were both attending a party at Kylie Jenner's Hollywood home. As the night progressed, the situation took a tragic turn when an altercation occurred within the vehicle they were in. Megan Thee Stallion later revealed that she had sustained gunshot wounds to her feet during the incident. Initially, details were scarce, and various reports and rumors circulated about what had transpired that night. Megan didn't immediately disclose the identity of the person responsible for her injuries. However, as the investigation unfolded, it became apparent that Tory Lanez was the prime suspect. Megan the Stallion eventually broke her silence on the matter, identifying Lanez as the one who shot her. In an emotional Instagram Live video in August 2020, she confirmed that she had been shot in both feet and criticized those who were making light of the situation. She stated that she did not immediately tell law enforcement about the shooting out of fear for her safety and concern for the consequences that could come from reporting a firearm incident involving a black man. Tory Lanez initially remained relatively quiet about the incident. However, as public pressure mounted, he released an album titled Daystar in September of 2020, where he denied the allegations and shared his perspective on the situation. The album's release generated further controversy and conversation about the incident and the differing accounts presented by the two artists. The legal ramifications of the shooting continued to unfold over the following months. In July 2020, Tory Lanez was arrested and charged with felony counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm and carrying a loaded, unregistered firearm in a vehicle. 
the verdict of Tory's shooting case. On August 8, 2023, Tory Lanes was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the shooting of fellow artist Megan the Stallion. Lanes had been found guilty in December 2022 of three felonies related to the shooting incident, which had left Megan the Stallion with an injured foot. Prosecutors had initially sought a 13-year prison sentence for the 30-year-old Canadian rapper. However, Lane's defense team had requested probation and a residential drug treatment program to address his alcoholism, which they attributed to childhood trauma. Since his conviction in December, Lane's had been held in county jail awaiting sentencing. Megan the Stallion testified in court on Monday, stating that the shooting had deeply affected her and that she hadn't experienced peace since the incident. She expressed her ongoing struggle to heal and return to her former self. Lane's attorney, Jose Baez, maintained the rapper's innocence and advocated for a year-long residential treatment program to address his alcohol addiction issues. In court, Lane spoke for the first time, admitting to making immature statements and revealing secrets he shouldn't have. The news of the sentence sparked conversations on social media, with the hashtag FreeToryLanes trending among those who believed Lanes was unjustly treated. Despite the division, the sentence marks the conclusion of a multi-year saga that played out on social media. Lanes expressed care for Megan the Stallion in court, mentioning their shared bond over the deaths of their mothers and their use of alcohol to cope with their pain. He acknowledged making inappropriate statements during the trial. Outside the courtroom, Lane's attorney expressed disappointment with the sentence, comparing it to sentences in other cases involving death. The Los Angeles County District Attorney George Gascon commended Megan the Stallion for her perseverance throughout the trial, emphasizing the challenges that black women face when reporting crimes. Instagram post of Tory. Following the verdict, Tory Lanez also took to his Instagram to address the situation and express his perspective. In a post, he acknowledged his role in a verbal altercation, but asserted that he did not cause any physical harm. He emphasized his commitment to standing strong in the face of adversity, reminding his followers that tough situations are temporary while resilience endures. His message underlined his refusal to give up, indicating his intention to challenge the verdict. Tory's post resonated deeply with his fans, who rallied around him in this trying moment. They interpreted his words as a sign of his determination to fight the outcome and uphold his innocence. The phrase, tough situations don't last, tough people do, became a rallying cry for his supporters, symbolizing their unwavering belief in his character and the idea that he will persevere despite the challenges. And with that, we've come to the end of the video. Tell us what you think. Will the court change its decision for Tory? Let us know in the comment section below and tell us what should our next video be about. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And also, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any updates from us. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.